Howdy, AP Precal. It's Ms. Kosh. I am pretty sure I have videos for um, the first part of this assignment. I didn't even print it out, um, but I call it using sine and cosine or graphing from kind of sine and cosine. That's what I call it, graphing from sine and cosine. So in my, the way I've been teaching um, secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent is basing them off of what we know about sine and cosine. Um, so go find those videos. I'll try and put them in this playlist because they seem to fit in there. Um, I think that's the best way to teach those other four parent functions. Um, but what I didn't have in the past is how to evaluate some of these secant, cosecant, and cotangent ideas. Um, so I may just sketch a unit circle in case that helps you see what's happening. I'm not going to draw it all out, but okay, so secant is, um, so they're asking for secant of pi over 4. Well, secant is equal to 1 over cosine of, well, whatever that angle was. That angle was pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4, that's right here. These have the coordinates root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. Um, and so cosine is the x value. Um, by the way, this is also 1 over root 2. So it was, we had to rationalize this to get to that. You multiply by root 2 over root 2 and you get here. So now I want the reciprocal of that, and that's just going to be equal to root 2. Cool. Okay. Um, a secant of 5 pi over 6. So here is, on my unit circle, 5 pi over 6 is not exactly there, but good enough. And so it's got a negative root 3 over 2 for the x value and a positive 1 half. Secant is 1 over cosine. So this is 1 over cosine of 5 pi over 6. Cosine is the x value. Our x value is this. So we need to take the reciprocal and it's a negative 2 over root 3. My rule is that you always rationalize with the unit circle. Um, even, uh, well, okay, AP Preco wants us to simplify everything. Great. But if I'm doing something like, here's my triangle, and it's 1, 2, root 5, um, and I'm doing sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent, and all of, the, all of those, um, um, rationalizing and then having to flip it over and rationalize again is kind of annoying. So um, I kind of made an exception on this last unit, but anyway. Um, okay, so let's rationalize. Root 3 over root 3 is what we're multiplying by, and so our final answer is this equals negative 2 root 3 over 3. Okay, secant of pi, so over here at pi, this, is ha this has the coordinates of negative 1 comma 0. The cosine value is negative 1, that's the x, and so the reciprocal of negative 1 is still just negative 1. Cool? Okay. Cosecant. This is going to be 1 over sine, 1 over sine of 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4 is down here. It has the coordinates, they're both negative root 2 over 2, comma negative root 2 over 2. And which those had been root um, 1 over root 2, which we rationalized to get this. Um, so when I take the reciprocal of 1 over root 2, I get root 2, but it's negative. So this is a negative root 2. Fantastic. Okay, so the next one's uh, cosecant of negative pi over 3. Negative pi over 3 means we go this way, which is also 5 pi over 3. Its coordinates are a positive 1 half and a negative root 3 over 2. Um, so the sine value is the y. So we need the reciprocal of this, which actually matches the reciprocal of that. So it's the reciprocal. Reciprocal of root 3 over 2 is 2 over root 3, which we saw a second ago. We already rationalized the denominator. It's the exact same answer. Negative 2 root 3 over 3. Okay. Um, cosecant of... Did I forget to change this? I don't know. Maybe I... No, I think I forgot to change it. Oh, well, whatever. Cosecant is um, of pi. Oh, this is actually good that we're doing this. Okay, cosecant is 1 over sine of pi. And sine of pi over here is the sine is the y value. That's 0. Well, you are not Chuck Norris. You cannot divide by 0. Um, and so cosecant of pi is undefined. All right. Cotangent. Okay, so cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Um, so this is 1 over tangent of 2 pi over 3. Notice my notation here. Um, I think that I've seen kids do something. This is wrong. Don't do this. This is wrong. But I've seen kids do something like this, and then they put this 2 pi over 3 out here. That No, don't do that. Um, it's not 1 over tangent times 2 pi over 3, it's 1 over tangent of 2 pi over 3, so that has to stay there. Tangent has no meaning without an angle, okay? So give it a variable, give it an angle, give it something. Tan on its own means, 
a color, a skin tone, <laughs> I don't know. It means nothing, is my point. Okay, so two pi over three is here. This is the steeper one, and so it has a tangent value of negative root three, and so the reciprocal is going to be one over, well, negative one over root three, multiplied by root three over root three, and so this one is equal to a negative root three over three. There's my answer. Oops, well, and I'm writing on top of it. Okay, you're fine. A seven pi over six is over here. This one had a tangent value of root three over three. It's positive in this, because I'm thinking slope. And so, um, go back and watch my tangent video if that doesn't make sense to you. But this had been equal to one over root three, so when I take its reciprocal, I get that this is equal to root three. Cotangent is equal to, well, um, here's how I would think through this one, to be honest with you. I would say, well, I would say tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine theta, which means that cotangent is going to be that reciprocal. So cotangent is cosine over sine. So I would come back, and what, what did we have? We had cotangent of pi. So we want cosine of pi over sine of pi. Well, so let's go look. Pi is over here. My coordinates are negative 1, comma 0. So we're saying, oh, we want negative 1 over 0. Ah, no good. So this value is undefined. You are not Chuck Norris. You can't divide by 0. So cotangent of pi is undefined. And there we go. That was fun.